adding Optifine to Curse Forge mod packs. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. Now, one thing I will say right up front, you might not be able to add Optifine to the mod pack that you're playing. It just really does depend on the mod pack. And a lot of mod packs do have visual, basically, helper mods already in stalled to help increase FPS and boost performance. So those can also sometimes conflict with Optifine and every mod pack is different in that regard. So keep that in mind up front. I wanted that disclaimer. But in this video, we are going to show you how to add to Fabric, all the mods, Better Forge, and RL Craft, Optifine to all of these. Now, we're not going to be opening all of them just because it takes a while to open all of these, but we're going to be doing RL Craft, Better MC, and Fabric. Fabric, by the way, is different than these Forge mod packs. First things first, though, you need to actually get Curse Forge, get your mod packs installed and set up. And if you don't know how to do that, we have this complete guide linked in the description down below. We're not going to be doing any of that in this video. I'm assuming if you're looking how to add Optifine to a Curse Forge mod pack, you've already got a Curse Forge mod pack installed. So, from there, let's move on to Optifine. Now, in order to download Optifine, you need to go to the description down below. Links down below, by the way, tons of them down there for Optifine, for Optifabric, for everything you need to do this. And once you're here, though, scroll down and click on the yellow Download Optifine button to be taken to Optifine's official download page. Now, once you're here, just kind of keep it up because we need to go into CurseForge. Then we need to make some notes, right? Let's go ahead and open up Notepad here. Now, why are we making some notes? Well, because we need to see what version of Forge our mod packs are running. To do this, go ahead and right click from the My Mod Packs menu on your mod packs. Let's go ahead and right click on, for example, all the mod 7 and click View Profile. And then in here we can see Forge 40.1.60. So let's go ahead and make that note for all the mod 7. We are on Forge 40.1.60. And then we're going to go ahead and repeat this process for all the other mod packs here. So better MC, we're going to go ahead and do a view profile. That is better MC. Let me just make a note of that. And that is going to be forged. It's a very old version, 36.2.35. Now you may also want to note the game version here. So for game version, this is 1.16.5. That's just going to help us find easier, you know, once we're on the Optifine download page, the version of Optifine we want. So for this one, we're on 1.18.2. So game version 1.18.2 and then last but not least we will go ahead and grab RL craft so if we view the profile we can see that this is going to be 1.12 so super old RL craft and the forge version is going to be 14.23.5 0.2860. Wow, the versions were very long back in the day. And then this is game version 1.12.2. So we're making these notes because we want to be able to download the correct version of Forge later on. Now for Fabric, any mods that if you build a profile and they say Fabric there, you can go ahead and note that down if you want. But the biggest thing is you need to note the game version with Fabric, so 1.19.2 in this case. So there we go. Now, let's go ahead and download Optifine. You might be like, why, why does this matter? Why do these Forge versions matter? Well, because once we get in game here, or not in game, excuse me, on the Optifine download page, we can see what version of Forge that Optifine is compatible with for the corresponding version of Minecraft. So if we go ahead here and we look at all the mod 7, that's going to be version 1.18.2, and we need Forge version 40.1.6. Now, what do we do here if Optifine uh, doesn't support that version? It's 40.0.24. If you click more here, it doesn't go up, right? It's lower. The, this number is lower than the number over here. There may be issues, and you may not be able to install Optifine with that mod pack at all. Let's go ahead and try it. So we're going to go ahead and click the mirror link here. So click that. It's going to go to the download page. We can go ahead and download 1.18.2. Now, we know that because all of our versions here are different, that the 1.18.2 version of Optifine is for all the mod 7. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and go back to the Optifine download page because we also need to find it for better MC here. Now, this is going to be the 1.16.5 version of Forge. So we scroll into the 1.16.5 version, and they were looking for the specific Forge version 36.2.35. Well, this is also very outdated, right? And you'll notice a recurring theme here. That's going to be recurring. The Optifine doesn't update to the newest version of Forge because Optifine only supports the most recent version with new updates. Last but not least, though, let's go all the way back to 1.12, and we're specifically looking at Forge version 2.8.6.0. So we're on 1.12.2 and 2.8.6.0. This one's pretty close here. As you can see, we've got 1.12. Forge 2847. So again, not as up to date, but more up to date than I would expect. So now we've got all of these downloaded. I'll go ahead and tell you that some of these probably will not work, right? Just straight up, they will not work. And that's something that you have to think about and have to know is that occasionally, while you can try this and it's worth trying, 
you might just be able to not use Optifine with the mod pack. And it sucks, but it's just the truth. So let's go ahead and do RL Craft. By the way, these are all found in our downloads folder. Let's go grab them out of the downloads folder, or right like so. Boom, and drag and drop them over here. Now, let's go ahead and start off with RL Craft. Right click on this, by the way, and click Open Folder. That's all you've got to do. And then in here, you'll have a mods folder. Now, there's all sorts of different mods in here. And like I said, some of these have mods that actually interfere with Optifine and will stop it from working altogether. Now, some examples of those are Sodium. If Sodium is mentioned in a mod here, or sorry, if Sodium is installed, it's not going to work. That's not in here, right? That's, that's not going to be in here. Better FPS is also another one. And uh, it does not look like we have better FPS in here at least easily seeable. And so I'm guessing we might be able to install Optifine. So let's go ahead and drag Optifine 1.12.2 into this mods folder. It's that simple to install Optifine with the mod pack. The issue comes is when you click play, it opens up Minecraft here. And then when you try to play Minecraft, it might not open all the way. And if that's the case, that's because you've added Optifine and you can do some troubleshooting. Like I said, look for any FPS mods or anything like that. Any mods that are increasing or changing video settings in Minecraft could be interfering with Optifine, but it also just may not be possible for that mod pack. I know I keep saying that, but I, I really do want to stress that sometimes you just cannot do this, but let's go ahead, open up RL Craft, and then we'll go ahead and move on to another mod pack. So there we go. Here is the Minecraft main menu with RL Craft, and if we go into options, video settings, here is all of Optifine stuff, including the ability to add shaders. Just click shaders folder, drag and drop them in here. You can use shaders. Optifine works fully, by the way, with RL Craft, which is pretty cool. So there you go. It's all in you've got all of, like I said, Optifine features, performance, you know, the quality settings, anything and everything that you want to do with Optifine, you can do it with RL Craft. It's that easy. Now, moving on, let's talk about better Minecraft. So if we go ahead and right click on that. We open the folder here and we go into mods just like we would with, you know, any other version. We're looking for the 1.16.5 version of Optifine here. So if we go ahead and drag and drop this over into this, you know, folder here, we will be able to see that, boom, it installs. But Let's look for other FPS mods. One of the things I mentioned was Sodium, right? But I'm not seeing Sodium in this list. Another one is called Better FPS, and boom, right there it was. I saw it. I swear I saw it. I think I saw Better F3, so maybe not. But let me look through here, see if I can find any other sort of FPS or video changing mods, and then we'll move on. By the way, sometimes you won't know, and you'll just launch, and it won't work. And that's just kind of, again, part of kind of adding a mod to these mod packs that are super highly configured. So... Let's go ahead, look through here, see if I find anything, and then we'll move on to, uh, well, launching better Minecraft. Unfortunately, I didn't see any other FPS mods in there. I, th I thought there was one. So, nevertheless, we've now installed Optifine. Let's click play on better Minecraft. That'll open up the Minecraft launcher here. And just to make it look any better, let's change our resolution. Why not? So let's go ahead and uh, do that real fast. Installations and change our resolution to 1920 by 1080. Now, just because there's no other FPS boosting mods in there, let's not forget that the version of Optifine that we're using is for way earlier than this version of Forge, and that can cause issues. So now let's just click play here, click play again, and now BetterMC is going to try to open up. In the past, I've done this and it's not worked. It might have suddenly fixed itself and it might now work with Optifine, but in the past, BetterMC has not been able to work with Optifine, so we'll just see. It's loaded up this far, and there we go. Exit code one. Now, you can copy this and paste it over here. It doesn't really do anything. You can also go into your logs and see if there is anything specifically interfering with this or interfering with this. How do you do that? Well, you come over here to installations. You click the a little folder icon there, and then you have your logs. And this has a ton of information in it. Latest here is we're going to be able to see all the information as to what may have broken in this. Now, as you can see right away, Optifine. Optifine is what broke. So we've got Optifine here. The Optifine issue is this is where we're having the issue. It's basically unzipping it. And as soon as it unzips it, we start throwing all sorts of different kind of problems. Now, you can look through this at a more in-depth scenario, but my guess is going to be that the reason that this is having an issue is mostly going to be due to the fact that that Optifine is for a different Forge version than what's in here. Now, one of the things I will say is that you can look through, you see all these different JSON, and we've got Rebudium, and that is actually a performance mod that I missed. Okay, I thought there was a performance mod in here, so let's go ahead real fast and open this back up. By the way, another way to access the mods folder is from that menu, and let's uninstall that mod here. There we go, Rebudium. So that's another one to look for. Better FPS, Rebudium, as well as Sodium. And we can delete that, and we may have better results. Let's go ahead and now try to launch up better Minecraft here, and we might not get that exit code. So unfortunately, that did not work, and it seems like it's still trying to look for Sodium. I went and pulled uh, another log there, and it still is not having an issue. So for that reason, Better MC can really not have 
up to fine, but you don't need it. And that's the thing, because you had that other performance mod that was in there, you don't really need it in better Minecraft. If we open up all the mods seven here, we jump into a mods again, that's right clicking and clicking on the open folder button. It opens up this right here and go into mods. And again, you can look for different FPS mods in here, better FPS being one of them. Another one being the Rebudium, I believe is what it's called. Let's see here. Scroll down and look for it. I'm not seeing it installed here. So let's go ahead, try to add Optifine to this one and see what happens. But again, I'm kind of expecting this to fail. You might be like, Nick, is this just a pointless video? It's, it's really not because I know a lot of people are searching for this and it's important to know that this happens a lot. A lot of failures, a lot of trying to install Optifine and it just doesn't work, right? And so that's okay. That's just one of the downsides of mods. Oh, excuse me, I've already got this running, so it goes out of that, and now let's play. And a lot of times, that's just part of it. You can't install mods into these mod packs because they're so well-crafted that adding additional mods breaks things. Quite often, actually, it breaks things. So let's go ahead, try to launch all the mods 7. I actually assume it will be a similar fate as to Better MC. But again, it worked perfectly fine with RL Craft. So it really does just depend on the version of Optifine and Minecraft that you're using. By the way, if you do want to search for older versions of Optifine, you can do that by clicking Show All Versions here and then clicking under this to see even more versions. Let's say you had an older version of Forge. Well, you can actually find those here to be able to install them. Usually, though, Mod packs are updated to newer versions of Forge than what Optifine supports. Nonetheless, as you can see, we had another error, and we can come in here and we can look and try to figure out what's going on here, but it's so difficult to diagnose some of these mod pack issues and mod pack errors. A lot of times, it's uh, really not even worth it, right? So you can scroll down. Usually, your issue is going to be towards the end where you can find different stuff. And as you can see, we've got some security craft errors and all sorts of stuff. But most likely, our fatal sort of issue is not going to be with a mod like security craft. It's most likely going to be more of a performance style mod that's interfering. But again, so many different mods here that uh, it can be hard to get it set up. So nevertheless, Optifine, right there it is, trying to load and then found mod, and it seems to kind of be working there until you get later on and something breaks, right? So that's just kind of part of it, and that's why it's so important to just kind of assume you can't run Optifine with a lot of these mod packs, but sometimes you can, and that's why it's worth trying, and that's why this video exists. Now, if you do have a Fabric mod pack, there is an additional mod that you need. That's gonna be called OptiFabric. You can download that by going to our website, link in the description down below, clicking download and downloading the version you need. In our case, we're gonna be installing the 1.19.2 version of it. As you can see, we are currently on that version. And uh, yeah, the reason you might need this is because you have a fabric mod pack. Now, fabric mod packs usually are a lot more compatible than other mod packs, and that's a good thing, meaning you can a lot of times install Optifine with them without any issues. Now, we will need the 1.19.2 version of Optifine because our fabric version in here was 1.19 as well. As you can see 1.19 there. Fabric version really doesn't matter, which is nice, but let's go ahead and click on the open folder here on, excuse me, our fabric installation. Right-click, open folder. We do have the mods tab here. As you can see, we've got a few fabric mods installed there, but let's go ahead and drag and drop from our downloads folder OptiFabric and OptiFine over into the mods folder for fabric here. So drag and drop these in, boom, and now let's just prove that again. Go into open folder, mods, there is OptiFine. Now this one will work, right? We can click play here. It's going to open up a Minecraft launcher, click play again, and it will open up Minecraft with fabric. It's that simple, or sorry, fabric with OptiFine. Because this isn't a super big mod pack, it just works. So out of these four, two of them worked and uh, two of them absolutely failed. Unfortunately, these two are pretty popular mod packs. If you wanted to reach out on the Discord for these respective mod packs, they're gonna, they might be able to help you install Optifine on them specifically, but a lot of them will say, why? It's not useful, it's not needed because you have Sodium on better Minecraft and there's most likely an FPS mod of some sort and tons of optimizations in all the mods as well. So really and truly Optifine's not needed in most mod packs, but if you did want to install it, that's how you can and those are two that you can install it on, RL Craft and Fabric. Truly, your mileage varies depending on the mod pack, and every mod pack is different, but this is the information you do need. By the way, that's why we also do all the uh, skipping and, and stuff that you can do around the video and the chapters, because it really does help in videos like this where we're kind of skipping around a lot, right? We're doing a lot of different stuff, and uh, it kind of helps you figure out exactly what you want. But nevertheless, let's go ahead now. If we go into Options and then Video Settings, there is all of the Optifine stuff, including, of course, shaders. So there you go. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. That's uh, the overview of how to add Optifine. You just add it to the Mods folder. The issue comes in troubleshooting, looking at logs, figuring out all that, and then eventually usually giving up from what I've seen in my personal experience. But nevertheless, that is how you can do it. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.